It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll see the Colts' rocket arm quarterback. You can't ask for much more than his last game, a five-touchdown effort. It's the Colts and the Jaguars, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today we... So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And a look here at their signal caller, the fifth-year quarterback. And he's playing at a very high level here in this early part of the season. In fact, he leads the NFL in passing yards. Now, that's not always an indicator of success, but in his case, it is. Throwing is Stevens. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards right off the bat. And a quick first down. Now the NFL's leading rusher in 2021, Jonathan Taylor. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Colts go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. The toss here completed to Pittman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Stevens. He's got a man complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a gain of 35. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield, a combination of talent and toughness to go into the Briar Patch. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And now one yard to go on third down. Stevens now off the play fake. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. I love those corners who can not really come out. But don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Oh, they needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Got a man, it's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts touchdown. A great play there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Colts have moved out in front. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. Stevens throwing to the hands of Pittman here. 
And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And some room to run now. 82 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ballgame. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes you break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Stevens. And he's got his target. It's caught for a close touchdown. Michael Pittman with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game, as his guys have now moved out in front. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. He threw his league-leading 25th touchdown pass on that last drive. And we'll look to add to that. Stevens setting up to throw it. He's going to go up top again. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Here's Stevens to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Stevens. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. So they decline it as that will bring up four. I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game play, but you got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties, and they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Well, we had a pair of division rivalries in primetime last weekend, week five, and we've got another pair of good ones coming up here in week six. Starting tonight, Cowboys and Eagles from Philly on Sunday night. And then tomorrow, Monday night, football has the Broncos and Chargers from SoFi. That's going to be a lot of fun, no doubt. Kickoff 515 local time for that one out in Southern California. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On first down, Stevens. That's going to be caught by Allie Cox. And they are in the field goal range now as he's got the first down at the 26. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take message received. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Shifts by him. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts strike quickly here to tie up the ball game. 
And that CD, one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys. The Colts getting another possession here on offense. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw. Stevens, throw left side complete. That's Taylor. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. On first and ten, Stevens. And incomplete on the deep ball. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw. Stevens. He'll get this one to Pittman. Touchdown, Colts! Michael Pittman, 57 yards. And the Colts use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. And they'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they make their lead to three. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact point. So here are the Colts to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat of this ball game as well. Throwing on first down, Stevens. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. First and 10, Taylor now. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, 54. And the Colts use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. First down, Stevens to the right side, complete to Taylor. Flashes another juke, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5 of 6 and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Three-point.
points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Colts in possession of football as we get your reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the handoff, Taylor. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, a 23-yard run. And the Colts get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And that rushing touchdown. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Michael Pittman, 33 yards. And the Colts add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down, and now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down, and after that, the air just went right out of the balloon, and you knew you were looking at a defeated team. This was a fun one today if you 